Go ahead. Thanks, Jen. Um, HHS just put out a statement clarifying um, around some reports uh, that crack pipes are not would be part of the safe smoking kits that are funded by mm -hmm. the administration. Um, but can you clarify for us, were they never a part of the kit, or were they removed in response to this reporting and this pushback? Is the they were never a part of the kit. It was inaccurate reporting, and we wanted to put out information to make that clear. What is in the safe smoking kit? Uh, a sm safe smoking skin may contain alcohol swabs, lip balm, other materials to promote hygiene and reduce the transmission of dis diseases like HIV and hepatitis. I would note that what we're really talking about here is steps that we're taking as a federal government to address the opioid epidemic, which is killing uh, tens of thousands, if not more, Americans uh, every single day, week, month of the year. Uh, we put out this statement, though, because there was inaccurate information out there, or I should say HHS put out this statement because there was inaccurate information out there, and we wanted to provide clarification on the allowable uses for the HHS harm reduction program. It's not a change in policy. Uh, this program, though, is focused on harm reduction strategies, including prioritizing the use of fentanyl test strips and clean syringes. And all of these harm reduction so services uh, that will be supported by these programs are, are intended to save lives from an epidemic that we know is, uh, is devastating to communities across the country. And then, so just to put a final point on it, does the administration support any effort then to distribute drug paraphernalia? that we were hearing about. We, the statement makes clear uh, that we don't support federal funding, indirect or direct, for pipes. Okay, thank you. Um, and then on the safe injection sites that the DOJ is evaluating, mm -hmm. um, was this a, an ask from the White House that they review that policy? Because I know that for years DOJ has opposed efforts to open safe injection sites. It's under litigation, so I can't speak to that. But what I can tell you and reiterate is that uh, the White House is committed, as, as, I will, as I would reiterate for you, many Democrats and Republicans, including Senator Cruz, uh, to taking steps to address the opioid crisis. This is not an issue that is inflicting just blue states. It is inflicting uh, millions of Americans across the country, and it is important that we take steps to address it. So just final wrap of those two items. What would you say to critics who are concerned that um, the Biden administration is somehow encouraging illegal drug use? I think that it's important to step back and remember, just to put a little more of a fine point on it, that we're losing an American life every five minutes to overdose. We don't have time for political games. Uh, the president's focused on saving lives through harm reduction programs. That's exactly what we're talking about here. They work in red states and they work in blue states. We know they save lives. They help connect people to treatment and recovery. And they were endorsed this week by a bipartisan commission co-chaired by Senator Tom Cotton that examined steps we must uh, take to address the devastating toll of overdoses. So what I would say is this is not a game. This is not a political game. This is an epidemic that is taking the life of, a fi of, uh, of an American every five minutes, and we need to work in a bipartisan way to address it. Thank you. Can I ask oh, real quick about the masks? Um, we had another state today uh, dropping the indoor mask mandate as the CDC is confirming that their guidance is not changing. Um, but these decisions that are being made at the local level, like you guys always talk about, are out of step with the science that is at the forefront of the CDC of this White House. So why are we not hearing the same messaging, criticizing states that are you know, making these moves like we heard previously um, with, for instance, Ron DeSantis? Well, I would say there is a distinct difference between standing in the way, uh, which Ron DeSantis did, or Governor DeSantis, I'll, I'll give him his full title, um, of teachers, uh, school administrators, and others taking steps to protect the students in their school communities. There's a difference between standing in the way of it, threatening to pull back funding, and allowing for local school districts to make choices, which is what a number of these states are doing. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.